What up, YouTube? Today's video, I want to give my reaction to Kobe Bryant's last NBA basketball game. Now, first things first, I'm going to say it just like this. It's some pros and cons. One, I didn't watch the game. I don't really watch sports like that no more because, you know, sports is fascist. It's organized, you know. It's already a planned outcome winner. But... I'm going to be honest, you know, Kobe is a fucking monster. I'm going to just give him his credit. You know what I'm saying? You can never take that away from somebody, you know what I'm saying? Even though the NBA do pick a pre-planned winner, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to just say that nigga Kobe a beast, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with L.A. hard, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with California. Um, Seeing the highlights, he scored like 60 points. Uh, He got a decked out retirement ring. He got, you know... I forgot all the rest of the details about the ring, but I know he got a decked out retirement ring. He gave a little speech before he left and shit. You know, everybody came to see him. Now, first things first, I just want to say this. Kobe, he's a monster. We know that. Um, He played a decent game, but I thought the Lakers was, I thought they had the worst record in the NBA. But I guess since it was his last game, he had to take off to get that one win or whatever. But I just want to say this, though. That, that's the pro. That's the good. That's the good. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with Kobe. I fuck with L.A. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But it's about time that nigga retired anyway. You know what I'm saying? Because, one, he was kind of falling off anyway during the season. You know? Two, it's Steph Curry time. You know what I'm saying? It's Golden State time to take over all this shit. You know what I'm saying? I've been fucking with Steph Curry. This ain't no bandwagon shit, you know what I'm saying? That nigga Steph Curry's a fucking monster. They from, uh, yeah, they team is in California too, you know what I'm saying? The Lakers ain't fucking with them at all, you know what I'm saying? So I just want to say that I'm glad he retired him because it's about time he stepped down and let the young guys take over, you know what I'm saying? Now, like I said, with the, um, well, before I get into that, I'm going to just say this though, you know, people may get mad or whatever. But I fuck with I fuck with Golden State, you know what I'm saying? I'm a Golden State fan. Don't really watch sports like that, but I know Golden State fucking thrashing everybody. Thrashing everybody. I think Steph Curry just hit like four hundred threes in um a season. Nigga unstoppable. Like I was saying, how sports is fascist. They have an organized winner. Now when you got people like Kobe and Steph Curry and stuff like this, see they already have a pre planned winner, but when you got people that can score like Steph Curry and Clay Thompson and shit like that. All that organized sports shit go out the window because it's like no matter what they throw up, it's going to go in. So you got to give the win to Golden State because it's like them guys is talented. You know what I'm saying? The Lakers, they they team weak as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Kobe just went nuts on Mamba Day. You know what I'm saying? It's his last day. Of course he going to go nuts. You know what I'm saying? And in, in sports, is organized. So, of course, they're going to pick Kobe they're going to pick the Lakers to win. Think about it. Come on. They're going to let him go out with a lose. Now, I'm going to say this. I am from Chicago. I am a fucking Bulls fan, okay? Before anything, I am a Bulls fan, you know, and I'm going to say this. Yes, Kobe has five rings. He's a monster, but he'll never be better than Michael Jordan. I'm sorry to say. You know what I'm saying? No hating shit. I'm just being honest with you. He'll never be better than Michael Jordan. We already know Michael Jordan own prisons and all that shit, but we ain't talking about that. We talking about basketball. When it comes to basketball... Kobe and them came up in the same time, but we know Kobe would never be better than Kobe would never be better than Michael Jordan. I just had to say that. Now, Kobe would never be better than Steph Curry. I know some people are gonna be like, "Well, you tw- you crazy? You tweaking hell now?" Nah, but them numbers do not lie, bro. Them numbers do not lie, bro. Real shit. And that nigga Steph Curry and them just broke Michael Jordan record. If you didn't know that, even though Michael got rings and all that shit, but like I told you, sports is fascist and is organized. You know. Steph Curry got one ring, whatever, whatever. But I just had to put this in because I am a Chicago Bulls fan. You could tell sports is fascist and organized because, look, every time the Bulls play, every time the Bulls make it to the playoffs, they always put them against LeBron James' team. Now, I understand it's basketball, blah, 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 it's the playoffs and all this shit, but hell no. Why they can't go – I mean, they go against – they be always going against the weak team at first. Then, soon as they beat, soon as they sweep that weak team, they want to put them against LeBron James team, and they always cheat for LeBron James. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. LeBron James a beast. They always cheat for that nigga though. Real talk. Like last season playoffs, bro. 
they cheated for that nigga so much, boy. That nigga stepping out of bounds and shit, man. That's how I tell you sports is fascist and organized, bro. Real talk. That's why, look. You see Michael Jordan won all them rings in the 90s, right? My opinion, I think that's why they won't let the Bulls win again. Because they know if the Bulls win NBA championship with the young generation, with D-Rose, Jimmy Butler and them, bro, they know Chicago going to band together. And they know the city going to be un- the city gonna be, the city gonna be united for that one second. You know what I'm saying? Because when it comes to sports in Chicago, you know what I'm saying? All that op shit go out the window. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody can relate to sports. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, especially Chicago fans, we love our sports teams. You know, real shit. The White Sox, the Cubs. You know what I'm saying? Um, the Blackhawks, or the Bulls. We love our, we love our teams. You know what I'm saying? But I just had to say that. You know what I'm saying? That's my reaction. You know what I'm saying my reaction to Kobe taking off. Kobe a monster, but I'm glad he retired. Get that nigga out of here. Time for Steph Curry never to take off. I'm a Bulls fan, but the Bulls ain't beasting like Golden State beasting. Just gotta tell you, like real talk, that's just my reaction.